Alright, hello everybody. Um, Today I got my CPU overclocked. Overclocked to 4 GHz, like on the dot. So, as you can see there, I have an AMD FX8320E, and it's currently, you see it's 4 GHz right there on the control panel. I hope you could, I hope you could see that. 4 GHz FX23. Alright, yeah. So I want to show you how to do that. The when I originally bought this, well, it comes in when you first buy it and you put it into your computer and you don't do anything to it. It's gonna be 3.2 gigahertz, but I wanted it to be like faster, so I set it to um, 4 gigahertz. And I'm gonna show you how to overclock safely without doing anything. Um, number one thing, the number one thing that you have to. Those are all my Pez when I went to New York. I did not vlog, but. Freaking! I'll use this. You cannot use the stock heat sink. Your your computer will will absolutely fry if you use the stock heat sink. So I have the Hyper 212. I have the Hyper 212 in there, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. So first, step one: just turn on your computer, and once you see the BIOS start flashing, hold on. Um. Start right here. This is when you're going to want to press delete because that'll bring you to the BIOS setup. So you can just do that. All right, and we're gonna your main. If you have the same motherboard I do, I have the um, what's it called? It's the Gigabyte Seven Eight LMT USB Three motherboard. Uh, it actually works pretty good for overclocking. That's what. That's the other motherboard. The so yeah, that's the motherboard. It's actually great for overclocking, which is why I bought it. Oh, because I don't know which one it is. All right. So now the CPU is at 3.2 gigahertz. All right, as you can see there, and uh, none of the voltages have changed. Right now it's at 1.4 instead of 1.9. So if you have this motherboard, um, near CPU clock ratio, which is right there, I set that all the way up to 22 at first, right? And then you basically just experiment. So right now it's at 4.4 gigahertz, and I do not think that is going to work. Also, you're going to want to change CPU host clock control to manual, and that will allow you to change the CPU frequency. This is the main thing, because it's 200 times, like, whatever that number is, 22. It's, okay, so it would be 200 times 22 is 4,400. Like, this is basically your multiplier here. So if I put this at... 500 it's gonna be 11 gigahertz, but that would absolutely fry my computer 11 gig that that would actually break the world record But I wouldn't want to try that because I probably don't even have enough cooling for that the world records like 8.2 gigahertz or whatever it is So right now if I have it at 22, it's at 4.4 gigahertz and that will probably that actually will not work So I'm stable at so then I just like experiment like I get stable um, settings at uh, 4 gigahertz, so you're just gonna want to like keep going down until you see 4 gigahertz. So multiplier x20, so 200 times 20 is 4,000. Like this apparently it's 4,000 megahertz, and 4,000 megahertz is 4 gigahertz. So right now it's at 4 gigahertz, but the maximum you can actually do on the stock voltage is um. Hold on, I want to see. 3.5 gigahertz is the highest you can go on the stock of voltage. So I'm going to set that back down to 200. Like, that that would be me only adding the multiplier. So if you guys just want to get the 3.5 gigahertz, um, just switch that number to 220, and that's all you have to do. Like, you literally don't have to do anything else. Just switch the, the frequency to 220. And that's all you gotta do, because that's basically your multiplier, like I said. But I keep this at 200. I used to just have it at 220, but I'm like, you know, I want faster speeds. So right now everything's normal. 3.2 gigahertz at stock at like at stock speed out of box. But when you set this to times 20, 1920, you get to 4 gigahertz as you, as it shows there. And then also. You're going to want to set this to manual as well. This is the voltage control, so I'll do it again. Auto, manual. All right, and you just want to put the exact same values for 
everything here. So 1.875, you're going to want to put that on 1.875, 1.925, 1.925, 1 1.5, 1.5. Like that's all. You just got to copy and paste basically. But um, on CPU voltage control, it depends on... Um, so the higher the higher number this gets and this gets the two higher num higher that gets and that gets you're going to want to boost this up by about 0.1 for every for every 20 that you go. So if I put this up if I put the 200 up to 220, I'm going to have I'm going to want this to be instead of 1.49 I'm I'm going to want that to be 1.59 or even 1.6. Because 1.59 is basically 1.6, but 0 0.06 millivolts is quite a bit. And this will actually change your temperature quite a bit. So I'm going to uh, try to boot in 4 gigahertz, and it should work because that is my stable setting. So you just want to click F10 and then hit enter because that means like that just saves it to your CMOS. And now it should be booting up. Verifying DIM pool data. And now it's booting into Windows 10 without any errors. So I'm going to see how actually, like, how much higher I can get. But I probably will not do that on video. So now we're all booted up, like. I'm going to see how much higher I can get, but I probably won't do that on video. Because it takes hours. And, like, it took me, like, over an hour to find out that combination. And then if I go into... Whoa, that's trippy. If I go into control panel and system and security system, as you can see there, once again, we are running at 4 gigahertz. So that's going to be today's like overclocking video. Like, obviously, you didn't see the difference, but uh, you can trust me that it stays stock at 3.2. But, um,. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video on how to overclock your uh, CPUs, really quick version. Um, as always, peace out.